to my channel and happy Monday. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be in sort of a different style where I'm actually going to be talking about how I organize my writing days and kind of, I guess, my morning routine during the weekday when I have to go to work. I get asked this question a lot, which is how I make time to fit writing into my schedule, especially when it's on a weekday and I have to go to work. So I really wanted to make this video and just kind of show you guys my process throughout the day. It might seem a little neurotic to some of you, but I found that it's what works for me. I'm not saying it's going to work for you, but I did want to share it in case you kind of pick up some insights or you want to try one of the things that I do in this video. So it's not going to be me talking at the camera. It's actually going to be a little bit more of a vlog style where I'm going to have different clips throughout my day and then I will have a voiceover explaining what I'm doing. So again, the style of this video is a little bit different from my usual Monday videos, but I hope that you guys enjoy it. And if you do, please, please give this video a thumbs up to support my channel. And I would also love to have you as a subscriber. Also make sure you stay tuned at the end of this video because I will be doing my normal outro and I do have sort of a special announcement that I didn't think I was going to announce for this video, but I decided what the heck I'm going to do it anyway. So make sure you stay tuned at the end of this video for that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll into the video and show you guys how I organize my writing days on a weekday. So the night before, I always like to write down the last scene that I wrote for that evening because when I wake up in the morning, it's just an easy way to refresh my memory as to what I wrote. So the next morning, I'll wake up, go into the bathroom, put my contacts in, brush my teeth, and then start getting ready. This usually involves straightening my hair and putting my makeup on. I'll then go into my home office and review and look over the scene and the notes that I had written from the night before, and I'll go ahead and write down any new ideas for new scenes that I want to write that day. I'll then go into the kitchen, make myself a cup of coffee, and I'll bring all my notebooks and outlines with me. Again, I really just like to refresh my memory as to what I've written, what I want to write, where I want my story to go. So that way throughout the day, I'm subconsciously thinking of scenes and new ideas and things that are gonna happen with my characters. And it just makes it a lot easier when I actually sit down to write those scenes later that day. So by this point, it is about time to get ready to go to work. So I'll change into my work clothes, grab my bag and hop in the car. When I'm on my way to work, I do like to listen to podcasts if that's what I'm in the mood for, or sometimes after I've reviewed all of my notes, I tend to talk out loud to myself in the car and just talk about scenes and characters and what I'm going to write next. So again, this is really an ongoing process in the morning for me before I get to work. I'm just constantly talking out scenes and characters and just keeping that in the back of my brain all day long. So once I do get to work, I actually do work where I'm answering emails and on conference calls and going to meetings. However, that doesn't mean ideas don't tend to flood my mind every now and again. So when this does happen, I love to pull out my phone and open the writer app. And the reason I love this app is because it has different categories where you can type your notes. So you can put it under the category outline, notes, character, or chapter. So if I thought of a scene, then I'll normally write it under the chapter category. So that's just a really helpful way for me to keep track of my ideas. You know, when they come to me, I always have my phone and that app with me. It is free. I highly recommend downloading it. The one thing I make sure I do though, is to not expand upon that idea right then and there. I will usually use my one hour lunch break to go to Starbucks and expand upon the idea more then, or if I don't have time to do it during lunch or during the day, I will wait until I get home in the evening and that's when I'll kind of work on the idea and flesh it out a little bit more. So once I flesh my ideas out, normally I need to take a break. And normally this is an exercise break, especially if I haven't worked out that morning. So I'll either take the dogs for a walk or go upstairs to the home gym or just pull out a yoga mat and do some ab exercises as well as meditate with the Headspace app. And once I'm done exercising, I will grab my notebook again and just finish up any ideas or jot down new ideas that may have come up during my exercise routine. And then I will hop in the shower make dinner with my fiance, and then it's time to get into my office to start writing. I normally try to write between the hours of 7.30 and 9 p.m. So Jonathan will go work on some of his graphic design stuff and I will go into my office to write. And normally in that hour and a half period, it can range from me getting 1,500 words down to 3,500 words down. 
So it really just depends on how I'm feeling and how creative I am that evening. I have found that thinking about my manuscript throughout the day really helps me in the evening when I sit down to write because I don't get writer's block and I tend to fly right through my word count target. So that's something that really helps me out and I hope it helps you too. All right, so that is it. That is how I organize my writing days on a weekday when I have to go to work. Again, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up to support my channel. So if you've been watching my videos for the past couple of weeks, then you know that I did launch my webinar series, Hustle Smarter, Not Harder. It's a three-part webinar series to help you cultivate your dream life, and it comes with a supplemental 50-page workbook. Now, I've had an amazing response to this webinar series, and I am so thankful and grateful for everyone who has signed up and who has sent me amazing emails and testimonials. And also, I want to give a shout out to Mandy Lynn for reviewing the Hustle Smarter, Not Harder webinar series on her YouTube channel. I will make sure to leave that link to her review video down below in case you want to watch it and learn more about what you can get out of this webinar series. So in addition to this webinar series, I sort of wanted to try something a little bit different and I actually started podcasting. So I have been really into podcasts lately. I've been listening to a lot of them and if you've been watching my vlogs, then you know I recommended a couple in I think it was last week's vlog or maybe two weeks ago. I mentioned a couple of podcasts that I listen to on a regular basis and I really just wanted to try my hand at it. So I kind of wanted to explain what that podcast is going to be about. It's under That Smart Hustle so you can go on iTunes and type in That Smart Hustle Podcast and it will pop up. There are currently five episodes already there, recorded, uploaded, ready for you to listen. And it's really more of the professional business side of me. So I feel like on YouTube, it's really focused on writing and my passion and you know, just being trying to be as inspirational and motivational as I can and trying to put that out there for everyone to see. But it's really centered on my books and writing and being an author. And I feel like I have this other side of me, which is more kind of the professional side where, you know, I do have this corporate job and I'm trying to balance both my writing life with that corporate job and just kind of the whole girl boss entrepreneur aspect. So that's kind of what that podcast is there for. It's not going to be for everyone who watches my videos, but for quite a few of you, I think that you will really gain some valuable insight. So yeah, I was going to wait a month or so to talk to you guys about the podcast and to announce it, but I decided why the heck not, I might as well just go ahead and announce it right now. So that is what I'm doing. Like I said, you can go to iTunes and type in That Smart Hustle Podcast and it will pop up. I would love for you to subscribe to it if you like it and I would also love for you to leave a review and a rating, that would really help me out. And I just wanna let you know that I don't have a set schedule for when I'm going to post the podcast, it's really more of a fun way for me to be unscripted and just be really real and raw and natural, kind of like the way I am in my vlogs where I'm not scripted. So, but we're talking more about the professional corporate side of things and entrepreneurship and being a woman in business and all of that good stuff. So that's what that podcast is for. So there is no set schedule. I will try to have two to three podcasts up per month, but some months it may only be one, some months it may be five. So it's more of just a fun project for me and I don't really wanna put any sort of undue pressure or stress on myself. I just want it to be fun and open and whoever wants to listen can listen. All three of my books, The Alpha Drive, The Order of Omega, and Restitution are available for purchase on Amazon and Barnes and Noble, as well as the Book Depository and Books A Million. My fourth book, it's a brand new series, is called Shadow Crown. It is a YA dark fantasy and it will be releasing on Tuesday, October 3rd of this year. 2017. It is available for pre-order on Amazon right now and you can also add it to your Goodreads TBR list. You can find all of the links in the description box below and you can also order signed copies of all of my books. Just go to my website at kristenmartinbooks.com and click on the buy books tab on the menu bar. If you love audiobooks, make sure to check out my affiliate link with Audible. You can get a free audiobook download and a free 30-day trial for their service. You can find that information in the description box below. I'm still offering first chapter critique 
boutiques for $65 a pop, and I am offering Skype consultations. So you can choose a 30 minute or 60 minute Skype consultation with yours truly, and we can do this face to face, or if you're more comfortable just chatting over the phone, over a phone line without the face to face aspect, that's totally fine too. It's up to you, but we can talk about topics specific to your personal situation, ranging from self publishing, how to format your book, and even how to manage and balance your time better. For more information on those services, go to my website at kristenmartinbooks.com and click on the services offer tab on the menu bar. If you are a teacher, educator, or librarian, and you are looking to have an author come speak at your school to a group of students, I have actually opened up that service as well. So if you'd like more details on how you can book me to come to your school to speak or run a workshop, then go to my website at kristenmartinbooks.com and click on the school visits tab on the menu bar. There are still spots available for the Hustle Smarter, Not Harder webinar series. Make sure you go to my other website at thatsmarthustle.com and scroll down until you get to the area that says webinars. You can register and sign up there and you can also learn more about it on the website. You can also go to my Twitter feed and at the top of the page, I have pinned a more detailed synopsis as to what you will actually learn in the webinar and the different things that you can get out of it. So make sure you check that out. It is at a discounted rate right now of $149 and eventually that will be jumping back up to $199. So make sure you take advantage of that $50 discount today. Last week, Goodreads did host a giveaway for one signed copy of the Alpha Drive and the winner for that was chosen yesterday. But also as of yesterday, there will be another Goodreads giveaway for one signed copy of the second book in the Alpha Drive trilogy, which is The Order of Omega. That giveaway for The Order of Omega will be going on from Sunday, July 23rd to Sunday, July 30th. It is valid for the US only. Make sure to check out the link in the description box below to enter to win. And if you're not already following me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, make sure you do that for daily writing inspiration and advice, as well as to stay up to date on any announcements, price promotions, or giveaways that might be going on. And if you have any questions or you have a topic that you would like for me to discuss in one of my next videos, please leave a comment down below. You can also ask a question or post a comment anonymously on my Ask Me Anything page on Tumblr. Again, everything you want to know is in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel on your way out. Don't forget I post new writing advice videos on Mondays and personal day in the life vlogs every other Thursday. I will see you guys next time. Bye!